Hey guys, uh, things escalated real quick today. Uh, this was going to be just a simple makeup look and then I thought, you know what, this is boring as fuck. Let's do something else. So we did this. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So to start out today, what I wanted to do was try out the new addition to Benefit's Porefessional range. This is the Pearl Primer. So this one is supposed to minimize pores, much like the other Porefessional products. Um, but this is meant to give you like a radiant kind of finish to your skin. Hmm, it's very thick. It's a lot thicker than I was expecting for something like it's supposed to be radiant. I was thinking something a little bit like softer. My skin, it feels really soft though. Whoa. It's like velvet. Super, super soft. Because I am trying a new primer today, I really don't want to stuff up my base. Whenever I try a new primer, it's always hard to tell which foundation goes well with it. So I thought I couldn't really go wrong with the Benefit foundation. So I'm going to use my Halo Flawless Benefit foundation. And to blend this in, I'm going to be using my Exo Beauty Tapered Fiber Brush. The primer's kind of made it a little bit hard for foundation to stick to my nose. Like it's kind of just wiping off rather than sticking to it. But everywhere else is pretty good. It kind of just... Like the foundation isn't quite clinging to my skin very well. It's kind of just sitting on top and then when you touch it, it kind of wipes off. But I'm not sure. This is why I'm not big on primers except for my Lip From Within primer from Mecca because they just play me all the time. Just never know how a primer is going to react with a foundation and then you end up with this issue here. Whatever. I'm over it. Okay, so I just jumped in and did my brows. If you want to see how I do that, I will leave a video up here for you. Um, but now I'm just going to go in with Benefit's High Brow. And I'm just going to carve underneath just to highlight and kind of define the brow. And then I just like to blend that out with my finger. I just find it looks the best. gives it a little bit more of a natural gradient if you see what I mean. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I just wind it up and take it on a brush just because I find it way more hygienic than using the sponge that it comes with. I just don't like that you can't really wash the sponge and the product just sits in there. It's kind of gross. So I just pulled it off and I pop it onto a brush. You really want to make sure you get right in here as well, like in this kind of, I want to call it like this hollow bit here and then near the tear duct just because once you've got all your eyeshadow on um, and you go to do the rest of your face, it's going to be hard to conceal in there once you've got everything on. So make sure you do it as your base and you're good to go. And the palette that I'm going to be working with today is the... BH Cosmetics and Shannon so the Remix palette. So Shannon and BH have already collaborated on a palette that looks a little something like this. And it was amazing. I really, really like this palette. So this has your eyeshadows and then it's also got lip glosses as well. Whereas this one is just eyeshadows. So on this side we have the original shadows that were created with the first Shannon so palette. And then if you flip it all around you've got the new shades, which are really fun and creative. I really like this shade here is absolutely stunning. And then this pink is just so much fun to work with. So this is what I'm gonna be playing with today. And we're gonna be using the original side first. So to start out, I'm gonna take the shade Clarity and I'm just gonna use this to set my eyelids. So just pop that over the entire lid now I'm going to take the shade Buttercup on that same fluffy brush and we're just going to pop that over the whole lid and kind of blend it through the crease. Now picking up the shade Terracotta on my Sigma E25 brush, I'm just going to start by placing that on the outer corner of my eye. 
and then softly taking that through the crease. I'm also going to take that underneath the lower lash line and just kind of joining them and flicking towards the tail of my brow just to kind of keep everything together. And then always, always take a big fluffy brush and just kind of blend out all the edges just to make sure everything's nice and seamless. You don't want any harsh lines. So this is a very quick and easy way just to do like a nice bronze look. And that's why I really like this palette because it's really, really user friendly. You can kind of look at it and know exactly what to do with it. You can see that this is going to be a great base, this is going to be a great transition colour, a great crease colour and then you can always smoke it out with the black and then you've got your great shimmer shades to kind of have a play with. So yeah, that's why I really like it. I'm just going to jump in and curl my lashes now. I've actually been sick the past few days so I'm like, ugh. You know when you're just not feeling 100% and then put a bit of makeup on and you just feel so much better. So. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for today. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I've just been loving it lately, so it was just easy pick. This concealer actually does dry quite quickly, so you have to move fast. Like, not too fast where you, you know, kind of muck up everything but just kind of go like once you've got it down just start blending don't kind of go make yourself a drink or something because once this is set it's pretty set concealer is kind of sticking a bit better with that primer on my nose not as bad as it was before to contour I'm going to take the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm actually going to use their brush for this as well find it's nice to get a clean line but it also blends nicely too see it just gives like a nice soft contour which is what I really like about it and I always contour my temples I just feel like it kind of adds definition to the face and my forehead you don't want your face to look flat just think about when you do your makeup it's kind of like if you got a piece of paper like a white piece of paper and you coloured the entire thing in black it's still going to look flat but if you colour a white piece of paper with a little bit of grey a little bit of black add a few white highlights in there your picture is going to start becoming more 3D and pop off the page one colour is just going to be flat there's going to be no highlight there's going to be no shadows or in makeup speak a contour which is essentially just a shadow um, so you're just creating a faux shadow so it makes it look as if your cheekbone is like popping out I'm also going to take a bit of Max Give Me Sun and I'm just going to warm up the cheeks with this. Now I'm going to take my MAC lip pencil in the shade Boldly Bare and just line my lips with this. Grab a little bit of highlight. This is my Pony Cosmetics Unicorn Champagne Highlighting Powder. Add a bit of glow. And there you have it, a simple everyday makeup look, really quick and easy to achieve. But you know what? We can do better than that. All right, let's amp this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip on over to the new side. This is the remix. Let's do this. I'm gonna take the shade Baby Girl on my Sigma E44 brush. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner and outer corners. Also running that gently through the crease, just a touch. Also going to run that underneath my lower lash line. And then to deepen this up, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to take the shade Vampette and I'm just going to pop that underneath the lower lash line 
and then just really lightly running that through the crease and on the outer corner. You guys would be so surprised from this palette and like the quality. The price tag for this palette is not crazy, it's quite affordable um, and the quality of these shadows is amazing. And even though this pink shade may look scary, once on it actually is so easy to wear. Um, I mean, it might not be your everyday thing, but it's um, surprisingly wearable. Um, the palette just kind of works, it's easy to navigate as well. Everything kind of comes together and it doesn't kind of look like you're wearing pink on your face. It doesn't look too crazy, but at the same time it's dramatic enough for people to be like, wow, oh my god, your makeup, like, check that out. That's some cool shit, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to take the shade Dream Girl and I'm actually going to take this on a MAC shader brush and some Fix Plus just to make sure that it's going to sit nicely and kind of be as intense as possible. Now to help blend everything out, I'm going to go back in with the shade Buttercup and I'm just going to kind of blur out the edges to make sure that's nice and blended. Going back in with my MAC Give Me Sun, I'm going to take that underneath the lower lash line and just sort of really blend everything out. It's almost like smoking it out, but under the eye. That makes sense. Now just for some fun, let's add some glitter. So these glitters are like tiny little rectangles, so I'm just gonna carefully place them on the inner corner, like a geometric style kind of thing. I'm just doing this one by one. They're kind of just sticking to my brush, so it's not too difficult to apply. So I've just put three on each corner, and I've kind of done it so that they're all kind of locked, if you get me. <laughs> and for lashes today, I'm going to be using the Nikita Joy Cosmetic Lashes in the style Melanie. Now to set this up even more, I'm going to go in with my NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner and this is in the shade Vivid Halo. And now the trick here is to just be as random as possible and yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> I'm going to start out here. You really want this to be organic so don't think about it too much, um, just kind of go for it, have a play, but try not to put any on the lid. We're kind of just going for around the eye. And when you think it's looking a little too neat, just shove one randomly away from the pack. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like if it's looking like they're all kind of sitting together, just throw an outlier right out somewhere in the wings. Like that. And then you just want to do the other eye, but you definitely don't want these to match. Mm -mm. Now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty 3D highlighting palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Zambia. And I'm taking my Sigma F35 brush for this, and you literally just want to highlight. This has kind of a pinkish tinge, so I thought it would kind of just tie everything together. I probably should have done this before I did the dots, but should be fine. Now I'm going to take my Pony Cosmetics Contouring Kit, and I'm going to take their blush shade, and I'm going to go in with shade Pretty Pink Pony. And I'm actually going to take that on my contouring brush. Seems weird, I know, but we're just going to add a slight bit of pink to our contour. It's going to help tie the whole look together. Also want to do a little bit on the temples. I'm not going to put any up on my on my forehead because I think that would just look really weird, but um, you definitely want to have just a hint of tint um, of that pink in the temples just to kind of tie everything together. Now we've already got the lip liner on, so I'm actually going to go in with some lip gloss. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Shameless Lip Strobe. To 
set everything, I'm going to take Max Fix Plus and just give the space a bit of a spritz. Okay guys, so we're all done. This is the final look and it is super easy to achieve. It's perfect for like a festival. I think festival season is kind of right now hip happening as we speak. Um, or if this is like your street style, then you go girl, you keep doing your thing. It's also really fun for like parties and stuff like that if you've got anything to go to because it's so, so easy. Trust me, you can do this. These spots may seem super like scary, but no, just do it. It's so easy. I know that this style of video is really different for me, but I kind of just wanted to show you that with the same palette, you can do super simple, easy, day, quick look for work. <laughs> or you could do something like this for a party. Because sometimes I feel like I pick up my palettes and I just do the same old look that I'm used to doing with that one palette, but that's the beauty of palettes is you can use that one palette to create so many different looks. So I hope this gets you out of your comfort zone a little bit or inspires you to pick up your favorite palette and look at it in a completely different way, play with different colors, just kind of have fun because that's the point of makeup, right? Just, just do it and just have fun. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And that is basically it. If you want to chat to me some more, head on over to my Instagram or Snapchat. I always love talking to you guys. But for now, this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video, if not sooner. Bye! <laughs>